Well, the Tucson International Airport is now the latest Arizona airport to implement face mask requirements. Beginning Saturday, June 6th, passengers, visitors, and employees will all be required to use face coverings. This order applies to all airport facilities, including parking structures, the rental car center, shuttles, and exit booth lanes. A disturbing video that went viral, a teenage quadriplegic pinned to the floor by a Pima County Sheriff's deputy. Deputy Manuel Van Santen was placed on administrative leave. News 4 Tucson investigators have learned he's now back at work, and we want to warn you, this video that you see may be disturbing. The Pizza Maria with the full story, you'll see only on 4. This is the video that went viral. It's from last September at a Tucson group home showing Deputy Manuel Van Satin pinning the 15-year-old Emmanuel, who has no limbs, to the ground. The teenager yelling at Van Santen. An eight-minute video of the altercation was captured by another teenager who lives in the group home. Deputy Van Santen says in his police report he was there because the group home manager called for help after the boy knocked over a trash can and made a physical threat to the supervisor. The boys live here because they have been neglected or abused, and in this 15-year-old's case, his mother could no longer care for him. In November, after the video surfaced, Deputy Van Santen was placed on administrative leave. In March, the Pima County Attorney's Office declined to criminally charge Deputy Van Santen for his actions in the video. Sheriff Napier tells News 4 Tucson he was allowed to return to work. The Sheriff's Office of Professional Standards conducted their internal investigation. About two weeks ago, Deputy Van Santen's discipline was one day off without pay. Sheriff Napier told me that the county attorney's office had cleared the deputy of any wrongdoing. They were left to investigate the conduct and the demeanor. He says the deputy's demeanor was inappropriate. When I asked about the video, he said it was horrible. They feel that the one day suspension was appropriate. However, the public defender's office disagrees. It's unjust. It's completely inappropriate. It's yet more evidence that we have two different justice systems in this country. Investigating for you, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.